Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. It's time for Faith to Live By with Sue Taylor. Thank you for joining me today on Faith to Live By. The Word became flesh and dwelt among us. Jesus, the Word, the very exact express image of the living God. The Word of God is living as God Himself, and it is active to the extent that we as children of God make it active. It is sharper than a double-edged sword. The Word of God is so designed to cut two ways, to instruct and to correct. How many times do we approach His Word just for instruction? Each time we sit before and meditate upon His Word, it should be our aim and desire to cry out to God and say, Lord, if there be anything in my life that is not pleasing to you, please show me. Please show me how to correct it. In faith, we should ask this of God. For as we approach His Word, we must believe that His Word is an ultimatum when it comes to correction and instruction. It is not an option for discussion because God is not going to change his mind about his word and what he has laid out in his word for us. His word is eternal and it is forever settled in heaven. You know, we like little children, we can kick and scream and shout and pout and throw our temper tantrums about the things we want rather than accept by faith with joy the things that God has for us. And how do we know the things God has for us? It's in His Word. All we have to do is read it, believe it, receive it, apply it, and expect it. Beloved, God knows you better than you know yourself. And as we approach His Word, we can be sure that because it is as a double-edged sword, it will penetrate even to the dividing of our soul and spirit. You know, the soul and the spirit of man are the two invisible, non-material parts of man and woman. These are the two non-material parts that should guide our lives. It may be that some men and women do not come often to the Word of God and linger for correction and instruction because they are seeking after the material things of life more than the non-material. The Word of God tells us to possess our souls and our patience. God, through His Word, gives us the time we need to grow, to change, and to correct what needs correcting. Faith in His all-powerful, never-changing Word is like a muscle. The more we use it, the more it grows and becomes strong and firm. For faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. This Word is not only living and active and sharp and penetrating, But it also judges the thoughts and the attitudes of our hearts. It is not to be um, us who judges the word of God and questions its authority. But it is God's word that should judge us and bring us under his authority. And beloved, his judgments are fair and loving. For he does not see as man sees, but he sees your heart. He knows where you have been in your life. He knows every painful and hurtful memory and injury done against you. But he also knows every painful and hurtful thing you have done to others. And you know what? He stands not to keep you in judgment as man does, but he stands to forgive you of every wrong thing you've ever done, thought or said because of Jesus. You see, God's word is to act as a judge only to um, not as his word is to act as a judge only to correct what is wrong through your acceptance of Christ and your total surrender, because God is the only one qualified to judge, not man. Paul tells us that we are to judge ourselves, and we do that through his precious word. Yes, the word of God stands forever, and it is the constitution of the kingdom of God. And there are no two-thirds majority of any parliament on earth can change it. It is not open for political debate. It is the book of ages. Psalms 119.89 tells us, Your word, O Lord, is eternal, and it stands firm in the heavens. In fact, heaven and earth will pass away, but his words will never pass away. 
It is also food for the soul and the spirit, the, mo- the non-material part of man. And it is divinely inspired, written by man as the spirit moved upon him so that these words may be written upon our hearts. The word of God is to, is to indwell us richly, is to teach and admonish us not only ourselves but others because they will see that word in our lives as we live it out day by day. It is a great light in a very dark world. The reading of the word or unfolding of the word as the Bible says means that we will let God instruct and correct us and as we do his word and as we do his word becomes as a great beacon of truth and it will give us understanding right where we are. Today, beloved of God, get in His Word consistently and let His Word become a devouring flame. Let it burn up the old sin nature in you. Let it become a crushing hammer, leading you in humility. And let it become a life-giving force in your life in which no foe will be able to withstand. The Word of God is your defensive weapon. It is your saving power. Know it. Believe it and act upon it today in faith. You've been listening to Faith to Live By with Sue Taylor. If you would like to write with your comments or to request a copy of this program for an $8 donation, write Sue Taylor, 10827 Highway 86 East, Neosho, Missouri, 64850. Sue Taylor is a member of the KNEO team and a keynote speaker at several church and women's events throughout the four-state area. To book Sue for your next event, contact Sky High Radio at 417-451-5636.